Hello and uh, welcome back to this small help video. Today we are going to talk about iPads uh, being frozen or not responding as quickly as you expected it to do. So here are some tips and tricks how to solve some of those problems. First of all, you of course have been using your iPad for a long time and you have probably been opening up apps for uh, quite some time. So a lot of apps can actually be running in the background. So have a double click at your home button, wipe all the open apps away. And now you have cleared your memory and uh, you will hopefully have a more responding iPad. The next one is to of course do a hard reboot. Just hold down the button, power button. You will have a slide to power off and whoopty whoopty, you will reboot your iPad. That is actually often working on a lot of devices. Doing a reboot more or less every day, I would definitely recommend you to do because it is a good idea to do that. Clean up memory, that's always a good idea. The next one is to go into settings. You can go into uh, the app running in the background, background app refresh section. And in here, you can see all the apps that is allowed to run in the background while you are doing other things on your iPad. You can see a lot of them is actually enabled. So some of those is not necessary at all. So you can just uh, turn them off like this, go through them and uh, do some turning off in here. You can of course do it for all of them at once, just like this and nobody of the I apps are allowed to run in the background. All right, moving on to the next one and one of the important one, if you ask me, is to go into general again, look at your iPad storage. As you can see, you get a picture of what is all the storage being used for on your iPad. I, you can see most of it is actually the app section that is used on my iPad. And you can see I have only one gigabytes of data left on this iPad. Not good because the recommended free space you need to have on an iPad or an iPhone is actually two gigabytes of free data. So uh, that is something that I need to look into. And if I go down a bit, you can get a more detailed look at which apps are actually using the most space. And as you can see, which is a common problem for a lot of people, is that uh, you download your favorite uh, show on Netflix and make it available if you are not having a, a Wi-Fi, and then you will definitely see which episodes is actually looking at this. So uh, have a look at your apps, which ones are the ones who are using all your data and make sure to have at least two uh, gigabytes of free data. All right, next one is having a look at settings and reset uh, settings on your iPad. But uh, before that, make sure that you do a backup. A lot of people is using iCloud for backup. And as you can see in here, I am also using iCloud uh, for backing up my devices. And you can see it's on the latest backup was performed this morning. So everything is good for that. You can of course also do a backup in iTunes, but uh, have a look at it and make sure that you back up your device. Because now we are going into settings and we are going into reset here down at the bottom. And uh, the first one we will look, have a look at is reset all settings. I would recommend you to do that if your iPad is real, really not responding at all or is really slow. So do a reset, put in your passcode and it will reset all settings on your device. If this is not working either, then I would go for the next one, erase all content and settings. And your iPad will uh, ask you to make a backup before you do this. And yes, do that if you have not done that. And then go to erase now and it will definitely reset your iPad for sure. And you, it will free up space and everything. It will be fresh as new. But if this is still not 
the case that your iPad is really working well, then there is a last option and it is an advanced option to do. It is called DFU mode restore. It is, you have to plug your iPad into a computer where iTunes are installed. You will have to do a hold down the power button and home button. When the uh, uh, screen goes black, you uh, will uh, take off the power button, but still holding down the home button. And at some point your computer will say it is now ready for recovery mode. So that is a DFU mode uh, restore. And it is actually the deepest one that you can do of a restore for your device. I will put a link underneath this video for the DFU restore and uh, have a look at that video because it is something to have a look at if your iPad is still not doing well. I guess that was all for me today. I hope that you get something out of this. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up or do a subscribe to my channel. Hope to see you soon. Bye.